Hey everybody, this is Entei EX at the Halo Academy and welcome to my little kind of topic video. I'm going to be talking about the KD ratio in Halo 4. And the reason why I want to make this video is because a lot of people have been mixing up the KD ratio with the KD spread. And they're two entirely different things, so I just wanted to discuss it a little bit and clear that up. The gameplay in this video is just there for a backdrop while I talk, so hopefully you're focusing on what I'm saying, but if you get bored, feel free to watch that gameplay. Alright, so let's get started. The KD ratio is exactly what it sounds like. It's the number of kills divided by the number of deaths. You probably have seen this number on Halo Waypoint, and maybe you calculate this number after every game that you play. But that's what it is, the number of kills divided by the number of deaths. A lot of people have been mixing this number up with the KD spread. And the reason why I think for this is because the KD spread is what Halo 4 shows on the post-game report. The KD spread is actually your number of kills minus your number of deaths, not your number of kills divided by your number of deaths. So the two numbers are different. But Halo 4, after the game, shows your KD spread. So let's say I went 20 kills and 5 deaths on a Slayer match. My KD spread would be 20 minus 5, so it would be 15. My actual KD ratio, though, which is not shown in the post-game report, will be 20 divided by 5, which is 4. So a spread of 15 and a KD of 4. Those are two very different numbers. A lot of people believe that the spread is the KD ratio and that, let's say, you know, I get a 15 spread. I think that my overall KD is going to shoot up because my KD is only 1 and a spread of 15 will just be like a super big boost. But that's not true because the KD, if I went 20 and 5, is actually 4, which is still going to raise my KD if I was at a 1.0 KD overall, but not as high as a 15 would. So it's just important that players distinguish these two numbers. And I don't know why Halo 4 or 343 decides to show the KD spread instead of um, the KD, but Halo's always been like that, and maybe people like seeing the KD spread more than the actual ratio, but note that the KD spread is not your KD ratio. The KD ratio has to be calculated by you independently, and it's not shown on the post-game report. So here's something that's kind of interesting. So let's say I went 20 and 17, so 20 kills and 17 deaths, and my overall KD ratio in my Halo 4 career is 1.5. Um, should I get excited that my spread is a 3, because 3 is higher than my 1.5 KD overall? And the answer is no, I shouldn't, because my spread is 3. My KD spread will not raise my KD ratio, um, because it's not my KD ratio number. For that game, if I went 20 and 17, my KD ratio is calculated out to be 1.18. So for that game, I would actually lower my 1.5 overall KD ratio, because 1.18 is lower than my 1.5. The 3 is totally irrelevant. The 3 is just my spread. The 20 minus 17 equals 3. That's how you calculate the spread. It is not my KD ratio. So if you get a 3 on your spread and your KD is 1.5, uh, I'm sorry, it won't raise your KD actually. It'll actually lower it. Um, uh, so a lot of people mix that up. Just wanted to clear that up really quick, and I hope that did help. And one more thing I wanted to talk about is whether or not the KD ratio is a good indicator of how good of a player you are. Personally, I think it is actually a pretty good indicator of how good you are, because I've noticed that players that have high KDs are actually quite skilled, and those that have lower KDs aren't as good as those with higher ones. And it makes sense, because if you have a high KD, you kind of earned it. The reason why you have a high KD is simply because you're a better player, you're more skilled, and you have more kills than deaths. If you're not as good of a player, obviously your KD will be lower. You'll have more deaths than kills, or maybe just um, a KD of close to one, meaning that you have the same amount of kills as deaths. So from my experience and just approximating people's KDs, I've actually noticed that those with higher ones are actually better, and those with lower ones aren't as good. And I don't think it should be the only thing considered when you look at a player and whether they're good or not. There's a lot of other factors that contribute to whether they're a strong player, but the KD is still pretty you know, it gives you a pretty good idea of how good they might be or maybe what you're up against. Yep, so that's my uh, short little video for you guys today. I hope it helped. Subscribe to this channel for more Halo 4 content. I am Ente EX. Peace out.